The night was thick with an eerie silence as I navigated the desolate road, surrounded by an impenetrable darkness that seemed to swallow everything in its path. My hands tightened around the steering wheel, the only source of warmth in the chilling abyss outside. The glow of my headlights flickered, casting ominous shadows on the gnarled trees that lined the road like silent sentinels. As I pressed on the gas, the road became increasingly unfamiliar, twisting and turning like a malevolent serpent leading me deeper into the heart of the unknown. The fog began to roll in, a spectral blanket that obscured my vision and played tricks on my imagination. Doubt crept in, whispering sinister suggestions that I was not alone in this forsaken place. I glanced nervously at the rearview mirror, catching fleeting glimpses of shifting shadows that seemed to dance just beyond the reach of the dimming headlights. The air grew heavy with an otherworldly presence, and a shiver ran down my spine as a cold breeze whispered through the cracked window. Suddenly, my car sputtered and shuddered to a halt, its mechanical heart succumbing to the malevolence of the night. Panic gripped me as I fumbled with the keys, desperately trying to revive the engine. In the oppressive silence, my heartbeat echoed like a drum, each thud amplifying the isolation of this desolate place. As I stepped out into the haunting stillness, the fog clung to me like ghostly fingers, chilling me to the bone. In the distance, a dilapidated mansion emerged from the mist, its windows like vacant eyes staring into the void. The only sound was the crunch of gravel beneath my shoes as I approached the ominous structure, drawn inexplicably toward it. Inside, the air hung heavy with the weight of forgotten secrets, and the floor creaked beneath my tentative footsteps. The flickering light revealed faded wallpaper peeling away to reveal a history of neglect. A chill ran down my spine as I heard distant whispers, indistinct but laden with an otherworldly sorrow. I stumbled upon a room bathed in an ethereal glow, its door ajar. Pushing it open, I was met with a ghostly sight, a figure in a tattered dress, her back turned to me. She seemed to be searching for something among the dusty relics that cluttered the room. Who are you? I stammered, my voice barely audible. She turned, her face obscured by long, disheveled hair. In a haunting whisper, she spoke of betrayal, tragedy, and an unfulfilled promise. The room filled with an agonizing lament that reverberated through the very walls of the mansion. Suddenly the lights flickered and the room plunged into darkness. When they flickered back to life, the spectre was gone, leaving only the echoes of her tormented tale. Bewildered, I stumbled out of the mansion, only to find my car miraculously restored. As I drove away from that accursed place, the fog lifted and the oppressive darkness gave way to the soft glow of dawn. It was then that I realized, the twisted road, the spectral encounter, it was all a manifestation of a restless spirit's plea for closure. The twist lay not in the horror, but in the revelation that sometimes the ghosts we encounter are echoes of our own unresolved past.